quickly. Stay with me, Kara. The ship, it just... Argo City's gone. Millions of people. That's only the beginning. Brainiacs destabilized the planet's core. Krypton won't hold together much longer. But all your research... Isn't there something you can do? That's why we're here. A spaceship? That's what you've been working on? Your uncle Jor-El discovered a planet that can sustain Kryptonians far away from Brainiac. He's built a ship just like this for your cousin Cal. But Cal... He's just a baby. Which is why you'll need to protect him. Teach him our ways. Me teach him? What about you? No. No, I won't leave you. Please, please don't make me. I can't come with you, but you'll never be alone. You belong to the house of El, Kara, a house of hope. Never forget that. Never give up hope. Get in. In my years fighting crime, I've learned one truth. That every villain is the hero of his own story. Superman was no exception. The Joker drugged him, tricked him into killing his pregnant wife Lois, and made him trigger the bomb that nuked Metropolis. So when Superman killed the Joker, I understood why. We all did. But once that line was crossed, there was no going back. He gave himself and the Justice League a new mandate. Stop all crime before it happened, by any means necessary. But he couldn't see his good intentions were leading him down a path of tyranny and evil. That's how our greatest hero became our greatest threat. So what if Superman's pulling criminals out of Arkham? They're the worst of the worst. He's going to kill them, Damien. Sounds like justice to me. Killing people isn't justice. Superman can't see that. He's grieving. He needs time to heal. Yeah, and what if it had been Gotham? If Joker had killed me, your own son? Thought he'd say that. not responding. We're being taken to the back cave. Prepare to eject. Shot cyborg. I won't hurt you unless I have to. You're gonna have to. My friends were in Metropolis, Batman. Starfire, Beast Boy, gone. We do this, that never happens again. You're right to be angry, but it's not a blank check. And the Justice League isn't a death squad. Well, goddamn.
That was a long ass intro. What's up, YouTube? As you can see, we is on that Injustice 2 story mode. Uh, Brainiac had no fucking chill whatsoever on destroying Krypton. And uh, it's picking up from where Injustice, the first one, left off. I'm about to fight Cyborg. Um, it looked like a lot of shit just went down um, between both the games. Uh, Beast Boy and uh, Starfire is gone, as Cyborg said, and I'm pretty sure a couple others. So let's dig into this shit and get it done, man. Let's get it. <laughs> You don't see it yet, but Superman's wrong. Alright, Cyborg down. Your glider skills need work. Yeah, I'm fine. I may need to Thanks up this from medium to hard, though. It's a little too easy. <laughs> So you won't kill, but you're fine with traumatic brain injuries. Secure the loading docks. Here to help, Bruce? Yes, to keep you and Clark from making a terrible mistake. None of us wanted this, but the Joker forced our hand. Metropolis changed the world. Now we have to change with it. Not like this. Of all people, I thought you would understand. Tell me the truth. Where is he? Uh, cell block C. Uh, uh, you can't turn your back on him. He needs you. That's why I came.
Doc, what are they gonna do with us? Where are we going? I ain't going nowhere till you tell me what's happening. Get back in line! minutes. You're better than this, Clark. These inmates are irredeemable. They're thieves, rapists, murderers, like the Joker. That's the problem with fighting for truth and justice. The battle never ends. And executing them will end it? First Joker, now this. When does it stop? When there's no more crime. When people can live without fear. We want the same thing, Bruce. I wanted to kill my parents' murderer. I could have. But that's not the life they wanted for me. And it's not the life Lois would want for you. Don't you put that on me. A red solar grenade. To dull your powers, you need to stop. Take time to grieve before it's too late. You wouldn't. You're supposed to be my friend. Which is why I have to stop you. Ooh, Superman has gone bad shit crazy. Not really, but I can understand where you're coming from, though. But where would it stop if you continue to go down the path you're going on? I mean, they both in the right place. But I think I kind of agree with Batman on this one. Sorry, Clark. Get away from me. Look who I found. Victor Sass. Psychopath. How many women have you killed? <laughs> hundred... Twenty-one. A hundred and twenty-one. Huh. Sounds incorrigible to me. Robin, let him go! You'd rather fight your friends than the real problem. I'm warning you, son. Son? You didn't raise me. The League of Assassins did. 
Problem solved. Who's next? Damn it, Damien! This is a line we do not cross. Then stay on your side, Batman. I'll be on Superman's. When are you gonna grow up? Here comes the rushdown. You're still a step slow. Joker keep on killing. You couldn't save Lois or Jason or anyone. That's enough. Let's go. But the inmates. Not today. the regime fell. Superman's behind bars. Damien, my own son, is there with him. But we can't ever forget why we put them there. We must stay vigilant. I thought your goal was to reassure people, Mr. Wayne. You're not alone in rebuilding Gotham and Metropolis. But if we don't change some minds soon... Thought that's why you hired that overpaid PR firm, Lucius. Convincing folks to move back to these cities is a lot harder when they're afraid someone's gonna knock them down again. Superman's never getting out. I made that clear. But Wonder Woman, Black Adam, Aquaman, they're still out there somewhere, and seemingly immune to prosecution. I know you built Brother Eye to keep tabs on all those loose ends, but the public doesn't know. Brother Eye's secrecy is critical. Our enemies can't fight something they don't know exists. Well then at least follow one bit of advice we paid those PR people so much money for. What's that? Be a little less Batman, a little more billionaire playboy. Get out around town in the daylight and smile. Focus groups show people feel safer when they see you smile. Hmm. That would be your other job. Bruce, consider widening your circle of trust. Nobody wins all by themselves. Not even you. As a reception area, this place needs a lot of work. Dinah, Oliver, thanks for coming on short notice. <laughs> You're lucky we found a sitter.
My great-grandfather built the original Gotham Underground. But these days, it's the Batcave. And this is Brother Eye. More like the Eye of Sauron. Surveillance hub? More than that. A communications hub, linking every satellite and server on the planet. It warns us when trouble's coming, and guides us when trouble's here. Must take a real genius to operate. I don't know about genius, but I do got a PhD. Dinah! Dinah's hobby! You sure came a long way. A world away, but the change of scenery is nice. I was surprised you called, Bruce. Things seem to be going well. So, what's up? Dismantling the regime created gaps in global security. We're covering them where we can, but we're stretched thin, vulnerable. Harleen, show them what you found. Right, old bats. Gorilla Grodd, everyone's favorite talking ape. He's got himself a band of bozos. Calls them the society. My mole in Gorilla City says Grodd's planning something big. But what, where, when, we don't know. One thing we do know, Scarecrow's gonna ship Grodd a buttload of fear gas from a hideout in Slaughter Swamp. Very mosquito-y. Good thing I packed my bug spray. I need you three to stop that gas before it gets to Grodd. Not joining us for the party? Unfortunately, I can't leave Gotham without worrying the public. Don't worry, Bats. With this crew on the job, what could go wrong? I know I'm the new guy, but you really trust Harley? She's a different person since Joker died. Mostly. Taking my head off because your boys are too slow. Fear not, Deadshot. We'll be ready for tomorrow's attack. Tomorrow? Cheeky monkey. Fancy meeting you here. Keep them moving. I'll see what that's about. Red! I ain't seen you in forever. You here to take down these punks? Quite the catch, Ivy. Red? You're with them? Your man, Bruce, was supposed to better care for the green. All he's done is remodel the concrete jungles of Gotham and Metropolis. Where I sit, there's not much difference between him and Superman. Ugh. You're a few cones short of a pine if you think your new friends care about the green. Grodd will keep his promises or he'll be my next victim. Oh, Red, why are you making me do this? Let me get you out of here, girl. We can team up again. Drive all the boys crazy, you know, like the old days. The old days were fun, but these days I'm all business. Yeah, we're gonna end it right there. We'll start chapter two uh, in another video. Let me know what you think about the story so far. Uh, <laughs> did you expect Damien to betray Bruce like that? Do you like the way the team's kind of divided up on this one? And what's your predictions for the rest of the game? You let me know. Put your put your ideas in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe and like. And I'll catch y'all later, man.